Hey, Every Nation family, it's Justin again from Every Nation Music. I've um, just been so encouraged to hear of all that's been happening since the last time we were online together, to hear that you guys are continuing to foster community, to preach the word of God and to gather together for corporate worship, even though you might be doing it remotely. Uh, we just wanted to provide you some more insights and some more resources that could potentially help you with your services online going forward. Now, you might be wondering why I'm holding this tattered red book. Well, this is the African Methodist Episcopal hymnal that we did most of our service out of when I was a kid. Now, one of the interesting things about my story is that though I wasn't a believer, when I stepped into these environments and I continued to rehearse the truth of God in these responsive readings, in these songs, a deep deposit was being made into my soul. So that finally, by the time the light bulb came on and the Holy Spirit had grabbed me and arrested me and I came to faith in Jesus, when those lights came on, there was this treasure trove of all these deep truths of who God was and it all came to life in a moment. And I'm reminded of the fact that when we gather together for corporate worship, essentially we're doing the same thing. You might not realize it, but even though we don't have hymnals present in our services, we're still building them in the hearts and the minds of the people who we serve. And so I wanna encourage you to pay attention to the value of songs as you prepare for your service. On a really practical level, there's a way to connect the message with the songs that we sing to continue to reinforce those themes, those ideas, those truths about who God is and what he's doing in this season. You know, so often people step into the worship environment or into our church settings and they have words that are filled with fear and anxiety and stress, all the things that they've been meditating on from the week prior. And often they don't know how to express themselves to God. But when we come prepared, not just with the spoken word and what we teach, but also in the words that are communicated through our songs, we're helping to word the lips of worshipers. We're helping to provide them a vocabulary that allows them to continue to be enriched by the truth of who God is. And we just want to encourage you again to just pay attention as you prepare for these services that the songs that people sing will ultimately affect those moments beyond the message that will continue to impact their lives. A few final things that I want to remind you of that also came back to us in some feedback is just to remind you when you're gathering for these online services, less is more. I know I mentioned this before, but it's really important to understand that a lot of what happens in the worship environment online is going to be different than what happens when we gather together corporately. So just please be reminded of the fact that if you strip back the moments of worship, the intimacy and the engagement ultimately will increase because people can envision themselves there much like they would in their own homes. In addition to that, don't be afraid to repeat songs, to repeat choruses, to go back and to do additional renditions of, of those songs, to continue to impress upon a person's heart what God is doing and to leave that memorable moment of what it was like to be in God's presence and to be reminded of his truth. I'm so grateful for you guys. I'm continuing to pray for us all as we continue in this time of transition. And I still believe that God is reviving us and doing great things, even in the midst of all this change. God bless you guys. Thank you so much. See you soon.